So the second part is going to be actually editing some of the clips. So what we're going to do is focus on the clips themselves and either shortening or lengthening them, getting rid of things that we don't want, and adjusting them accordingly. So what I've done is I've dragged each of my audio or my video clips from the project assets. You can see they're still listed here. I could drag in a second copy of it if I wanted to, but I don't need to. Now, if I ever want to get rid of a clip, all I have to do is click on it and I can hit delete on my keyboard. And what it'll do is it'll delete that clip and it'll automatically um, kind of sync them over and snap them over to that empty space. So it'll fill in whatever empty space is there. If I delete a clip that's in the middle, it'll do the same thing and it'll snap that other clip over. Now, <clears throat> there's this uh, feature under timeline called snap. And if I turn snap off and I delete a clip, same thing will happen. But if I turn snap off and I move a clip around, uh, basically what that does is it gives me the freedom to place it wherever I want. But it makes it a little bit difficult to line up. You can see that little dotted line kind of tells me where it is. So if, if I'm trying to reorganize my clips, it gets hard to match up. Like even though it looks like I'm fairly close, it makes it a little hard to match up my clips to the end. So that snap feature is fairly handy. And when I move a clip, you can see it just leaves that empty space there. So what I'm going to do is turn the snap off. And when I move this clip, you'll see oh, that solid black line appear. That means I've snapped it or I've exactly placed it right next to the other clip. And when I let go, Again, it'll still leave space there, but it'll make it really easy for these two clips to line up. If I want to move more than one clip, what I can do is uh, click on one of the clips. Then if I shift click on the other one, it selects them both. And then I just have to grab the clip up here on the, on the bar here. I don't want to grab it around here because that actually um, does something a little bit different. But what I can do is I can move them over. And as soon as it gets real close, it'll kind of jump and snap right to the end of that clip. So there won't be any gap there. But if I want a gap, then of course I can just drag it away a little bit. And see, when I click on it on the words there, I get this actual menu that will allow me to do certain things to the video clip. But if I want to just move it, I have to grab that empty space and move it like so. Now, I'm going to move this one over a little bit just to create some empty space at the beginning because I'm going to eventually put a title there. And then I deleted my one video clip, which I believe was this one. So I'm going to drag it down. And if I, I can place it up here on my second video track. But what will happen is when I play it, because one of them is on top of the other, it will actually switch views but I'll hear the audio track on both. So I can do that if I want, and it'll automatically jump to the other clip below. So you can layer them and stack them, but it will cover up the clips below. If I want to, what I can do is I can drag it down and just click and hold, and you can see it eventually, as long as I leave it there, it will eventually push the other clips over to the right snap it, line it up perfectly so there's no overlap and then when I let go the video clip is in there. I can also take it and actually if I grab it and move it and put it kind of in the middle of the clip what it'll do is it'll actually cut that clip in two and push it over to so that this clip fits in beside uh, and I have to hold down the mouse button. I hold it the basically the video clip still. And as long as I hold on to that, you'll see everything jump over and push over to the right. And once I let go, it'll put that clip in there. It does leave a gap there because I've moved it from here to there. But certainly I can grab that and move it over and snap it so it all lines up nicely. So now I've got a video clip where I've got this, it goes to this, and then it jumps back to the other plant. 
Okay, whenever I want to undo something I've done, whether it's accidental on purpose and you don't like it, I just do Control Z and it will go back one step at a time. So I'm going to leave my video clips like that for now. And what I'm going to do is actually, and I kind of intentionally made some little video gaffes here or mistakes. So I just moved the camera. So what I want to do is I want to get rid of that little camera shape part there. So I'm going to go to, to near the beginning of it. And what I can do is go up here to my controls. And this is step forward right one frame at a time. So you can see the leaves are just slightly moving. And as soon as I see, start to see the camera blur like that, I'm going to stop. So I'm going to actually stop it right there. See, that's when it starts to blur, so I'll go to the frame before. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut that clip in half. So what I'm going to do, you can see that I've got a little pair of scissors here I can clip on. And what that does is it cuts the clip in half. I can also go up here to time uh, to clip, sorry. Oh, I can't do that anymore because it's un, uh, clicked on. So just let me undo that. And sorry, it is timeline. Go up to timeline and I'm going to do either control K or click on split clip. And what that does is it cuts that clip into two parts so now I can move them about separately. And I'm just going to drag the playhead and get it to where it's back and not moving around and blurry. So just right that point there. And then I'm going to split it again. So I can do Control K, Timeline, Split Clip, or I can simply click on that little uh, X there. If you're going to split a clip, you actually have to physically click on it. Uh, on the, that empty space there and then what it will allow you to do is split that clip but the easiest way to do that is just wherever the timeline is click on the scissors and it will split the clip for you so in this one at the end I kind of move the camera again intentionally um, this button here is fast forward you can see it's going fairly quickly I can reverse it. Um, and the best way to get to the point where I want to cut it is just clicking on this one frame at a time clip. So I can get it to where there's no blur. And I can click on, well, let's see, I've clicked on the clip here. It's You can tell it's a lighter green. I can go timeline. Interesting. Click on the clip, timeline, split clip, and then if I don't want this part, what I do is I click on it. So whichever one is light green, that's the one I'm actually working on. Hit delete on my keyboard. <clears throat> it deletes that and syncs it over. Then again, there was this part here. I'm going to put my mouse over where it was blurry. So I'm going to delete that part and get rid of all that camera blur. So now I've basically cut out the parts that I don't want. Splitting the clip up either on either side if it's in the middle of your clip and you make a mistake and you want to get rid of that or just cut it off and then delete the end part or the beginning part or the portion of it that's left. Now if I want to speed up or slow down my clip you can see this one here is probably eight nine seconds long if I want to play that one fast forward, what I can do is click on that clip with my arrow and I can go to clip and time stretch. And this window is fairly handy because what I can do is I can speed it up. See right now the duration is oh, 10 seconds. If I drag this up by percentage, you can see that it decreases the amount of time it plays. So basically what's happening is I'm speeding up the clip. And if I drag it down, you can see it speeds up or lengthens the time and slows down the clip. Now, if you have vocals, what you can do is click on maintain audio pitch and then you won't get that chipmunky sound or that really low, deep voice. It'll keep the same pitch, but you will actually talk faster or talk slower. But it helps you uh, understand it a little better if you're slowing that down. 
The other thing you can do is you can reverse the clip. So for example, if you have a video clip of somebody jumping off a, a big wall or a rock down to the ground, you can reverse the clip so it looks like they're jumping from the ground up onto the rock. So that's just reverse speed and it's just a checkbox there. So I'm going to speed up the clip a little bit. Let's go to 120% approximately. You can actually just double click and type in there if you want it exactly 120%. And this button here li links the two. So if I increase the speed, it'll decrease the time. But if I break that link and I increase the percentage, you can see the duration will stay the same, but the clip will actually speed up. So you've got two different features there. I'm just going to put it back to 120%. And once I'm done that, I click OK, and if you watch the clip down here, it will shrink in time. And what will happen is you will actually get this yellow line here. That basically means you've adjusted the video clip somehow, and you need to do what's called rendering. So there's two ways you can do it. You can go to Timeline and Render Work Area, or you can hit the Enter button. That's your shortcut. Actually, the third way here, they actually have put a Render button here on this time as well. So what will happen is I'll hit render. It will render the video and show you how much time is left and how many frames it's actually producing. You can see it was a yellowy orange line and once it's finished rendering it will actually turn green and then start to play your movie from the beginning. So that's the rendering process. The last thing you can do is if you don't want to have the audio play, there's a uh, simple way to get rid of it, uh, especially if there's no talking, if there's background noise, so if it's just a lot of wind, or for example, the audio didn't record very well and you want to re-record it, what you can do is go to your clip and you can go up to your clip uh, menu and you go here to unlink audio and video. And then what you can do is you can click on the audio track portion of it. You can see it's divided up between video and audio here on all your video tracks and just hit delete on your keyboard and that audio is now gone. You can also delete the video portion of it if you want to. So you have to kind of click away and then click on it again. And if I want to delete the video portion of it and just keep the audio, you can do that as well. So I'm going to delete all my audio. And what I'm going to do is, oh, I can't do more than one at a time. So I have to do each one individually. So I want to get rid of all the audio because I'm going to add in music instead. Was really all that was happening was some wind playing. And then I just have my video track left. And so what I'll do later on is put in a soundtrack. So I can put in whatever music I want. We have to be careful about copyright editions. So if I'm going to add some audio, I can go to files and folders and go to my libraries. I wonder if I have any music in there. Oh, I do have a little bit. So, um, I don't have any ones that I made. Let's use the Peter Gunn theme, why not? I click open. And it adds it to project assets. You can see here I can hide my video clips and just look for audio. I can show it again. I can hide the audio just by clicking on these button here, buttons here. So I'm going to drag the Peter Gunn theme down to my soundtrack and I have it play from the beginning and of course I don't want it to play forever it's going to be a short video so I'm going to go here and maybe I'll just go to the end here and I'm going to split it so I can close that up and 
let's see, I gotta do this. Click timeline. It's a little finicky in a way. I'm gonna split that. And because it's a short video, I'm gonna delete that portion of the video or the audio. So now instead of hearing the wind blow as I took that video. Music. Henry started taking piano lessons when he was just 12 years old. A few years later, he became interested in arranging. Introduction to it. So. So it's a live version with an introduction. So I'm going to split it there. I'll click on it and do control K. I'm going to get rid of the talking at the beginning and then I'm going to drag the song here and then I'll split it again at the end. Not perfect but it'll do. So you can play around with that audio splitting as well. So those are some of the ways that you can edit your film uh, trim things you don't want. Even if it's in the middle, you just cut it on either side and delete it. And then you can unlink the audio and video as well. And then you've got time stretch where you can speed up or slow down your video, reverse it, and also the maintain audio pitch. And so I've got a short video now with a new audio track. <laughs> Next we'll take a look at some of the transitions and special effects and such that you can put in.